Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we'll be discussing how to use RayoGuide software to run experiments on the Discovery Core Reometer. The RayoGuide interface enables complete instrument operation directly from the touchscreen through methods that incorporate guided steps and illustrations. Methods are created using the TRIOS method builder and are transferred to the touchscreen as described in the tech tip using the new TRIOS RayoGuide method builder. Operators may select a method from the touchscreen and follow the steps, including geometry calibrations, sample loading, test execution, and sample cleaning. To run a test in RayoGuide mode, first ensure that the instrument is connected to a computer using TRIOS. You may switch from the classic home screen to the RayoGuide home screen by navigating from Utilities to Settings and then selecting Switch. Pop-ups display on the touch screen and the computer screen, indicating that the mode is being switched. On the computer screen, you may accept or reject switching modes. Otherwise, after the countdown, the switch will happen automatically. The touch screen now shows the RayoGuide home screen with available methods. You may refresh the methods by selecting the refresh icon. Please note that an approximate value is used for the cup diameter when a new concentric cylinder geometry file is created. We recommend adding the concentric cylinder in classic mode so that the diameter may be updated with the value inscribed on the cup. This update only needs to be performed once per cup. On the RayoGuide home screen, select the desired method. The software first verifies that the correct geometry is installed. If an incorrect geometry is installed, then the incorrect geometry error appears on the screen and specifies which geometry should be loaded. After the correct geometry is installed, press Next to proceed. Press Start to initiate the calibrations. At the beginning of the calibrations, the test temperature is commanded. The calibration schedule is defined in the TRIOS options as shown here. Once the calibrations are complete, as indicated by green boxes with check marks, press next to enter the sample information. Enter the sample name. Selecting a project and picking an operator are optional. Press Next and RayoGuide will walk the user through sample loading. In this example, the user transfers sample to the cup with a syringe. Press next to lower the geometry to the geometry gap. Visually verify that the sample is loaded correctly. Press start to begin the measurement. The touchscreen displays experiment in progress, the start time and the elapsed time while the experiment is running. When the experiment finishes, one of four screens will be displayed. If no end of test analysis is performed, a blue experiment complete screen displays. If an end of test analysis is performed, but no pass fail criteria are defined, then a blue experiment complete screen displays with the result. If an end of test analysis is performed and at least one result fails, then a red experiment fail screen displays with the results and acceptable ranges. If an end of test analysis is performed, and all of the criteria pass, then a green experiment success screen displays with the results and acceptable ranges. Press next to clean the sample. First, detach the geometry by unscrewing the draw rod. Press next to raise the head. Loosen the thumb screws 
and remove the cup and geometry. After disposing of the sample and cleaning the cup and geometry, press Next. RailGuide now instructs the user to reinstall the cup and geometry. After the geometry barcode is read by the system, press Next to repeat the same method or press Home to select a new method. In this tech tip, we discussed how to use RailGuide software to run experiments on the Discovery Coreometer. For additional information, you may reach out to our Rheology helpline. Please stay tuned for more helpful TA tech tips and thank you for your interest.